10,000 litres of water per hour could flow through the boat if I make a mistake with this skin fitting. I'll tell you why we were doing this shortly, but first I'm going to recap what we've been doing over the past days. Now, we got back to anchor after our very poor attempt at crossing Biscay and then just diverting back and saying let's have a little bit more time here. Um, I spent a couple of days in the anchorage feeling pretty ill and when I felt better we started exploring again. This is the town of Redes. It's like a little part of Italy in the Spanish Rios. It's a beautiful town. There's a coffee shop right in the corner there that you can almost see with all the little umbrella um, canopies. That's where we were going to go for a coffee to relax for a little bit and explore the town and then get on with all of the things waiting to be done on the boat because the boat work never ever stops. Um, here's Carly, um, well here's the beach where we parked first, a um, great little place. Here's Carly refitting the outboard motor, or the battery I should say. We take the battery off and chain it to the front of the boat so you can't steal the boat using the outboard motor while we're away from it. Hello Gwyn. Gwyn is the name of our boat by the way, just in case we haven't mentioned that yet. That'll do it. It's every day. I wake up and think. What an absolutely beautiful day. This is fantastic. This is really, really fantastic. Just a few little fishermen out doing their thing. Nice and quiet, some good cloud cover, really atmospheric. Feels a little bit like Scotland except warm. Good morning. Morning baby. Good morning baby. Pull too hard. <laughs> oh no, new challenge. Quick cut to Carly yeah. doing something a little bit Nasty. disgusting. This is our shower sump. Um, we have a shower on board and the water drains into a pan. The pan drains into the sump and the sump has a little filter that needs cleaning out. Otherwise it will get clogged up and the shower will flood. Um, not the nicest of jobs. It's supposed to be done kind of weekly. Um, we rarely ever do. We have a discrepancy with our chartered depth. Um, currently showing us ball point. What have we got right now? Three meters, and we have four point four. That would mean that low tide would be screwed. <laughs> but we're showing two point nine on the chart, so really we should be three meters plus about 2.9, 2.5 means we should really be at about um, 5.5 metres and we've got 4.3. Something's not right, so I've got a lead weight on my big long fabric tip. And we're going to get once and for all what our depth of the keel is. Five meters. I've got a couple of places. Five meters, I think that's a sandy bottom as well. Five meters exactly. We're missing. Point six of a meter. So I'll go 
edit that now. Now, while stringing this together, I basically go back in, um, get the depth to change from four to five meters by making a couple of adjustments. And I kind of did this as a step-by-step -step kind of guide to do it. And then after watching it back myself, I decided this is the most boring thing I have ever watched. So I'm speeding it up for you now so we can skip past that Speed and left. get to some slightly more Stop. interesting stuff. Registering. Yeah, we didn't have any speed through the water and it completely stopped. So my suspicion is it's fouled with seaweed or something. So, never done this before. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of silicon grease on the end of the blanking plug before I do it. Now, in theory, this through hole has a flap of plastic that should close off to stop the boat from flooding when I take this out to clean. Now that hole is big enough to allow per hour 10,000 litres or about 2,600 US gallons of water in if I can't put the plug back in whilst doing this and I have a problem. That's a bit of a scary prospect, so a lot of people don't like doing it. Hang on it. This is a little bit scary. Not sure what's going to happen. That's spinning freely. I cannot believe you just did that. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just a hole in the bottom of the boat, baby. <laughs> Nothing to. That's so fun because I've always wondered, like, what what would happen? What if... would happen? Yeah, it worse than that. That's exactly what would happen. <laughs> Now, obviously, you were all hoping to see a big jet of water come back through that hull, and instead, the plastic baffle did work. But now let me show you what happens when the plastic baffle does not work and water does come into the boat. It's a little bit more intense when you're doing it and not actually expecting it because you think this is going to work. Give a different reading. I cannot believe that you That might be in my way a little bit. Um, oh, I just see. Oh no, it's just. Yeah, yeah. There's a sea creature in here. We brought in a tiny water bug. Oh, I've got to get him back out. Well, he's got to go out through the door. He can't go out through the hole he came in. Um, oh, there's a small part of me feels like I should climb under and see why that flap isn't working because I feel like maybe if that's damaged that would be the reason maybe if the flappy paddle that stops the but it worked last time through hole it did work last and time but I wonder if it got broke time. when I shoved this yeah that wouldn't explain why it was originally not working well maybe there was this piece of seaweed like I said okay maybe now the reason there is a little sea creature in that bowl of water beside me is moments before I took the valve out expecting it to work and it did not work and it created a small flood inside the boat. But I have to do it again now to get the sensor back in. There's definitely nothing there resisting It's a lot more terrifying when you do it as a slow-mo, so here's a 
slow mo to show you and you can imagine what it's like if one of these actually goes when you're in the boat man ah! okay i'm actually having kind of good fun with this so now i'm going to speed it up 10 times just the water coming out just for my own entertainment value, just to scare myself when I try to sleep at night and imagine one of those blowing while I am in bed and having to figure out where it is and how to fix it. This is why they say you should have a wooden plug beside each of the seacocks in the boat. If it does go, you don't have long to find it before it's underwater and you're in real trouble. It goes all right <laughs> on this second little trip. I'm using the sink bowl because this filled up with salt water very quickly. Really um, quickly. The flap for the paddle wheel didn't deploy. Part of me wonders if the flap is actually because that was coming straight and that wasn't any, there was no flap there to stop the water. That was gushing. That just launched into the boat. That was kind of funny. But um, I guess we know what a, yes, 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 I hear you. I hear you, we're in shallow water. Wait a second. clean off this guy um get a better piece of tissue now there is one more thing that you can do to clean this if you don't want to pull it out from inside the boat and potentially get a little bit of water here or there and you're a bit scared and that is to jump into the water swim under the boat and find the skin fit in hold your breath a little bit clear off the clear off the grass blades that get caught on them and then you're done without any mess inside um that's all for this episode i'll leave you with one more thought um funny little bit from the other night hello old friend it's been a while so much music going on in each direction it's like there's a party in every little corner of this bay sounds like a lot of fun but we don't do that anymore. What are we doing tonight, babe? Ow! Oh, 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 I hurt my knee. What are we doing tonight, baby? Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Mm, we're just relaxing. I think it must be late. It must be like almost 11. Yeah. I think we're about to. Ben's, Ben's gonna make us some dinner. I am. It's a very nice, nice. It's a very, very nice doodle. Very nice. So very nice. That.